All right, squad, I'm gonna show you some of the basics on the body action system. First thing I want you to know is if you're not actually doing a cardio fusion session, don't come up to this and, and start hitting on it just to take some frustration throughout the day because we're gonna be moving these around and they have to have weight on the back of them to counteract the thing falling forward. So, you know, don't use these unless you're doing a cardio fusion session or unless you've been instructed to do so. Now, uh, you may want to get some gloves. I've included a link for you on the email to, to what I recommend for you. I would not wear full-on boxing gloves. And uh, these, these are Everlast gloves. They have wrist wraps on them and they have a little padding on the top so it's not full force you know, hitting you. And if you have weak wrist, you definitely want to have some type of wrist wraps. Um, if, you did, if you did the workout and you didn't have those gloves or some type of wrist wraps, instead of punching and following through, you punch and pull back. So every punch you hit, as soon as you tap it, you're gonna pull that movement back and that's gonna keep some impact off the wrist. Now you may also want gloves just for the sheer fact of after you hit this, you know, for, for multiple times, you're, the skin on your knuckles are just gonna get raw after scraping this leather. So those are reasons why you probably want some gloves. You don't have to have them, but it is recommended. Now there's three types of punches that I want you to know about. There is a jab, which is basically just to your chest, full extension punch, you can turn to put a little more power into it. There's a hook, which is coming to the side. And then there's uppercuts, which is coming from the bottom. It's coming up, usually some kind of a shin or head shot there. Now, anytime you're doing kicks, you wanna make sure that you are kicking with the shin, not your foot. Your foot never needs to hit the pad. That'll put some stress on your ankle that we don't want. So, it would look like this. Make sure your foot is on the back side of the pad and your shin to ankle is what's hitting the piece of equipment. And guys, those are just some basics. We're gonna be teaching you more and more as we go through. But wanna make sure that you know those for the cardio fusion workouts.